Wow, I know you boys are hot today, and it's a very hot summer day, but I have to let you know that the pool will be opening a little later today because they had some problems with the pool. So um, just be a little patient, and the pool is going to open up, and you guys will be just fine, okay? Now, uh, uh, to make sure you have your towels with you and all your swim gear so you can enjoy swimming in the pool today. Uh, yeah, it's the city pool, so they had some problems, and I'm sure they'll be opening up in just a little bit. Opening up late? No, no, that's not going to happen, Uncle Calvin. Look, I'm going to protest. I'm really upset. I want to go swimming now. Oh, I can't believe it. Opening up late. Opening up late. No. It's got to open up now. I'm going to go protest. Hold up a sign in March like this. Yeah. I'm going to go around and march and protest. Adele Ray, the pool's going to open up. You just have to be a little patient and... Uh, it'll open up for you, okay? It's just going to be delayed by one hour. Then you can go swimming. Oh, boy. Adela Ray, what do you know about protests and protesting, huh? Yeah, you know what? There's a group that's been protesting for African Americans for a long time. They're called the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. It's a civil rights organization in the United States. It was formed in the year 1909 as an interracial endeavor to advance justice for African Americans. And it was a group of people that formed it. And they were whites and African Americans. W.E. Du Bois, Mary White Ovington, Mark Morfield Story, or Story, and Ida B. Wells. Over the years, leaders of the organization have included people like Thurgood Marshall, who was a civil, was actually a Supreme Court justice, and Roy Wilkins, a very famous NAACP leader, and helped us get a lot of things achieved during the civil rights movement. Uh, look, I have to go to work now. Um, uh, you guys take care. Not me! I'm not going to take care! I'm going to go down there and protest! Everybody, my name is news reporter Jack, and I'm here in Harlem covering the protest at the swimming pool. As you know, the swimming pool will open one hour late today, and there are children out here protesting about the swimming pool being open, I'm going to see if I can just interview just one of them and find out what's going on with the protest. Uh, let's see, oh, I've got some equipment to get, so uh, I'll be right with you. Oh boy, it's so hot out here, and I'm protesting against the pool opening up one hour late today. I need to go swimming! And, uh, oh, look! Hey, it's Bob, the groundhog. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What was he doing? Yeah, I'm a little bit upset that the pool's not a... Bob, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. Um, I'm here to do the interview. You're going to interview me? Yeah, for the news station. Really? I'm going to be on TV? Sure you will. So, you want to know why the pool hasn't opened up one time? Well, I understand that they're having some type of uh, difficulties opening up the pool. Bob, why do you keep waving? Oh! That's a shame! I want the pool opened up 
right now! Open up the pool! Open up the pool! Open up the pool! You know, I'm getting hot protesting. Hey, let me see what Mr. Antonio has to say. It's my school teacher. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're out there at the hot, on a hot day with the pool closed. And um, my good friend Calvin talked about protesting. Protesting has been a big part of African American history. And I just want to let you know that one of the groups, the civil rights organization called the NAACP, has been involved in several protests. Its mission in the 21st century is to ensure the political, educational, and social, uh, wait, political, educational, social, and economic equality of rights of all people and to eliminate race-based discrimination. The national NAACP initiatives include political lobbying, publicly, well, publicity efforts, and litigation strategies developed by its legal team. The group enlarged its mission late in the 20th century by considering issues such as police misconduct, the status of black foreign refugees, and questions of economic development. Its name retained in accordance with tradition the use, uh, which was common, uh, a term called colored people. This referred to some uh, African, some people with African ancestry. But the NAACP bestows annual awards on African Americans in three categories the Image Awards for Achievement in the Arts and Media, Theater Awards uh, for the Achievement in Theater and Stage, and the Spring Art, Spring Art Award uh, for Outstanding Achievement of Any Kind. Its headquarters are in Baltimore, Maryland, but on June 29, 2020, Washington, D.C. radio station WTOP reported that the NAACP intends to relocate its national headquarters from its longtime home in Baltimore, Maryland, to the Franklin D. Reed Center of Municipal Affairs, a building owned by the District of Columbia, located on U and 14th Streets in Northwest Washington, D.C. Derek Johnson, the NAACP president, and CEO emphasized that the organization will be better able to serve people and influence change in D.C. rather than Baltimore, Maryland. Wow, wonder what they're doing back at the protest. Hey everybody, the protest is over! The pool just opened up! I'm gonna run inside! Yeah! Whoa! The pool just opened! Everybody run in! What you mean? The, the protest is over? Oh, it looks like kids are running into the pool right now. Um, I better get out of the way. It could be kind of dangerous. I'm just standing here. So, I want to... Oh! Oh! Oh, everybody, I was knocked over by a groundhog running to the pool. Well, this is news reporter Jack signing off here in Harlem. I hope you learned something about the NAACP. Have a great day.